Hi, everyone. My name is Christina Loback, and I'm joined today by Amelia Coto. We are CSU Legal Immigration, a Canadian and U.S. immigration law firm based in Windsor, Ontario and Troy, Michigan. And we support cross-border immigration, including cross-border family immigration. Today, we want to talk about some exciting changes in the spousal sponsorship stream, including recent policy changes that have the goal of reuniting families. That's really exciting, Amelia. So on May 26, Canada's Minister for Immigration announced that there are new measures to positively impact those undergoing the spousal sp sponsorship process in Canada. So this includes the following four things. So first, there's going to be faster temporary resident visa processing time for spousal applicants. Second, new and dedicated processing tools for spousal TRV applicants. Third, new open work permits for spousal and family class applicants. And fourth, open work permit extensions for open work permit holders expiring between August 1st and the end of 2023. So this is super exciting and let's talk about it a little bit more. Yeah, it's a lot, but we'll break it everything down um, for everyone watching. So it is common for couples to be separated while a spousal sponsorship is in progress. This can happen because the principal applicant or the intended immigrant doesn't have a visa to temporarily visit Canada. Oftentimes, many of the couples we work with have met abroad, and so they've spent a lot of time together, but not necessarily in Canada. So once they apply for permanent residency, it is more common for the visa to be denied because oftentimes the government thinks that the applicant is not going to be returning home if their permanent residency application is denied. The other reason is that some countries have an extremely long backlog, so the temporary visa applications can take a long time to be processed and oftentimes are left in limbo while the families are separated. And the Minister of Immigration is trying to address these concerns. Let's talk about how, Christina. Yeah, absolutely. So going forward, the goal is to process these TRV applications in 30 days or less, which is incredibly fast for the government. The other way is by implementing a policy change where officers are instructed not to deny applications simply because the person's significant other is in Canada. Canada has always had what we call dual intent, which means that officers were already able to approve visas for people who had also applied for permanent residency. But in practice, there were a lot of unwarranted denials that disproportionately affected family members being sponsored. Under these new measures, the first cohort had an approval rating of 93%, and we really hope that this continues. The other exciting change is that work permits were typically only available for people that applied via the inland spousal sponsorship route. And sometimes not everyone had that option because as we already mentioned, there were reasons why the applicant couldn't get to Canada and you need to be in Canada to apply for the inland route. Now, spouses, partners, and dependents will have access to an open work permit and to come to Canada via the outland process as well. And to access this, family members will first apply for a temporary resident visa, and then once in Canada, will be able to apply for a work permit. The great thing about that is that it is an open work permit, so it's not tied to an employer or an occupation. So we've been getting a lot of questions about this and we wanted to highlight some of the really common ones that we've been addressing. So Amelia, does this new announcement benefit people that have already applied for spousal sponsorship or is this just for new applicants? This announcement benefits both. If you already applied, this is a way to reunite with your significant other sooner. And if you're just getting started, hopefully this means that the separation is going to be shorter. That's wonderful. Now, what are some of the things that I should be considering when deciding if I want to, to apply for a TRV? Think about how far your application is in process. If you're near the end of the processing time, then the cost and effort may not be worth it. And we both know it is really difficult to know when where your application is at but it's just something to consider and you also have to consider whether you have a really complex application that may require an interview 
If so, you may have to travel abroad for the interview, depending on what visa office is processing your applications. Remember that interviews are not part of the typical processing of spousal sponsorship, but they do happen. And they tend to happen for complex applications. Also keep in mind that your passport may be requested for both your temporary visa and your permanent residence. So this could cause slight delays if the requests tend to overlap, and this would apply to any visa required countries. Those are some really, really good points, Amelia. Now, do I still have to show ties to my home country and demonstrate that I will return to my home country? Yes, you still need to be able to convince the agent reviewing your application that you will return to your home country if your permanent residency application is denied. Let's talk about a little bit more about what all these terms means. What is a temporary resident visa and why would someone need one, Christina? Okay, so a temporary resident visa or a TRV is an official counterfoil document issued by a visa office that is placed in a person's passport. So the purpose is to show that the person has met the requirements for admission to Canada as a temporary resident. So a temporary resident is a visitor. So as it suggests, they have only a temporary intention to be in Canada. TRVs are required for citizens of visa required countries who wanna travel or re-enter Canada. If you're from a visa exempt country, you'll need an ETA or an electronic travel authorization to travel to Canada by air. What happens after you receive a TRV? Okay, so upon arrival in Canada at a port of entry, you're required to report to Canada Border Services Agency. So to become a temporary resident, you must establish that you hold the necessary visa and that you will leave Canada at the end of the period authorized for your stay. And how quickly are these TRVs going to be processed? Well, we're told that going forward, they're going to be processed in as few as 30 days. What about an open work permit? What does that mean? Yeah, we get a lot of questions about this. So an open work permit is a work permit that's not job specific, which means you don't need an LMIA or proof that an employer has submitted an offer of employment through the employer portal and paid the employer compliance fee. What about the timing of these open work permits? Are they available while the spousal sponsorship is being processed or only after the application has been approved? Well, what's great is that they're actually available while the spousal sponsorship application is being processed. People are now able to apply for and receive an open work permit as soon as they submit a complete permanent residence application under the spouse or common law partner in Canada class, as well as other family class programs. What about dependent children? Are they able to benefit from this also? Yes, they are, provided that they will reside in Canada with the sponsor and have temporary resident status. Are there any extensions or other opportunities available to assist uh, spousal sponsorship applicants who already have a work permit? Yes. So for those who already have an open work permit, open work permits that are set to expire between August 1st, 2023 and December 31st, 2023 can be extended for an additional 18 months. So Amelia, this is all really fantastic news for those who are undergoing the Canadian spousal sponsorship process. If anyone listening is interested in learning more about the Canadian spousal sponsorship process, we really encourage you to visit our website at www.sisulegal.com to access some of our free resources, including different blogs and an assessment quiz. We truly love helping families reunite. Okay. And Christina and I were really excited about all these announcements and we thought it would be fun to uh, throw a little surprise at the end of this video. So if you wanna work with us, the best way to get started is to book a strategy session on the website. Our calendars are there. We make it very easy for you to book. And if after we meet during the strategy session, we determine we're a good fit and you end up retaining us for your immigration matter, if you mention this video, we will take $50 off your um your legal services bill so let us know you saw this and that's all you need to do thank you